Today we are going to disassemble and replace the motherboard for HP Envy X360. Uh, the, the mobile version, the, power, the model is 15 BP. To replace it with this motherboard. That's a new motherboard I bought it online from eBay. So you have to remove three screws at the bottom right here. These are torque screws can be best done by using a T5 screw uh, driver. And then you have to remove three screws under here. Uh, I've already removed it, but you can see there are four screws actually. You have to remove. Once that is done, then you have to take it off from here. You may have to use this tool here, right here, and then start pulling it out. The way we're gonna disassemble this is first remove seven screws from the battery, detach the battery. Then remove, there are eight connectors. Um, in this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, eight. Then we're gonna remove eight screws. Notice that wherever there is an arrow or triangle like this, that's me, it means this is a motherboard screw. Okay, so you can remove eight screws. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, and eight screws. In addition, you have to also remove uh, two for the fan, one and two, and one for the Wi-Fi card right here. And uh, in addition, uh, there are two connectors to the Wi-Fi card. You have to remove it carefully. Make sure you note it down before you remove it, which one is connected to where, which is very important. All right, we have removed the screws from the battery. Now I'm gonna remove, take off the battery. Big channel and easy. Just come out like that okay and we have also taken out the yp card uh, screwdriver screw right here okay, so next we're going to remove all of these connectors um one by one take it off and just pull pull the thing out and close it back same thing here take it out Pull the strip off and put it back. One, two. Be careful with this one. Yeah. Next is this one. Take it out. Pull it out. Put it back. One, two, three, four. Um, there will be one, this one here. All right, this one is taken off. Next is this one. There's one more down here. Uh, be careful with this one again. Just have to push it up a little bit. Pull it out. Next, we're gonna remove the screws from motherboard. Notice this triangle. All the one with triangle are motherboard screws. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, next, you're going to take out the Wi-Fi card connectors. Notice number two, uh, M2 is uh, closer to the uh, to the screw. Now this one has is a little bit tricky. You just 
push it from the bottom and pull it out. There you go. Alright. So this is all done. Next we're going to remove this connector here, this connector and the two screws connecting the fan. Uh, this one is easy, just pull it off and screws that are connecting the fan one and two next is this again take the flat head screwdriver Next, we should be able to remove the motherboard. Let's see if any other can connect in this. Uh, should be fine. Okay, now we're gonna replace the components that are attached to the old motherboard and put it on the new motherboard. Mainly, you have to remove the hard drive, the SSD hard drive, the heat sink, the fan connection, uh, along with the fan. There is only one a uh, big screw that is connecting the fan that can be removed and then you have to remove these four screws one two three and four note that uh, when you take out the fan uh, these screws are numbered so i have like number one two three four so unscrew them in this order and then you simply remove this from one side this is a cover for ram module and then just take it off once this is done then you remove the ram okay remove it from both sides here and here and then i'll just take it off note that when you put it back uh before putting it on you have to clean this with the thermocol oh sorry uh, the alcohol sweat and then when you put it on the new one, make sure you use a thermopaste like this on, on both the processors for, for the new motherboard.